Being a destructive child, they labeled me as a Awoken so early in the morning. What do you think most of the ladies are doing? Sleeping? Sunday? Huh? So a very good morning to each and every one of you. And Assalamu alaikum. It's great to be seeing such pretty faces and pretty smiles. But my request right now that the program has started and we wish to see each and every one of you sitting on the seat. The volunteer should be standing next to their stall and the coordinators should be actively taking the sign of all the people who are present. I also request Ms. Saima Iqbal and Ms. Saima Zishan to come up here and kindly take the program and start distributing to the participants. I believe each and every one of you know today's seminar topic. Could we get a feedback? Can anyone tell us what is today's topic? I didn't hear that. I don't think we heard anyone. What is today's seminar topic? Parent education and the teacher. Why should we ever think about having a seminar based on such things? And when you say parent education, what do we mean? I mean, does that mean that the parents are not educated? They have not gone to school? They have not gone to college? No. The education that we are talking about and we are going to be talking about today, it is educating the parents to know and understand the child. Strange is it? The child is there in our life from the beginning of time. And yet, we believe as Montessorians that the parents are lacking in their understanding and they have failed to understand their child the way children are meant to be. And it's high time that we started giving on information finally educating the parents on how to bring up their children. Some parents may not think that that's a very complimentary statement for them. They believe that they're the parent. They know exactly how to bring up the children. In fact, it is not their first child. Maybe they have brought up two, three children before. But inshallah, at the end of today's seminar, you will realize that yes, the child that we are talking about is a totally different child as discovered by Dr. Maria Montessori. And in order to handle and bring up that child, we definitely need a different kind of parent, today's parent. So we are going to be flowing into the lecture, lectures and what is there for the rest of the program. Ha, this is just the perfect time for us to discuss because right now our directors have not arrived. Um, I'm sure everybody knows that today it's a triple occasion, not double, and that is we are having a one day seminar. Then during the seminar or at the end of the seminar, we shall be having a birthday celebration. And anybody knows whose birthday is it to, going to be on 25th November? Whose birthday? Sir Shami. Okay. And then after that, in the second half, uh, 3 to 5, we have yet another program, which is that graduation award ceremony. When the lectures are done, and we are coming to the end of the seminar, I'm passing on this instruction as sir is not here as yet. All the branches, we will have a head table, a table in front. All the branches will have their, mashallah, say successfully returned to Karachi after conducting uh, the same topic in Lahore and Pindi. Let's call upon Mrs. Nad Nadia Salauddin. A warm welcome and a very cool morning.
How are you all? Fine. Okay. Thank God. The topic, as Ma'am Anjum said, is the child. What is the child? What significant characteristics a child possess? And what Dr. Maria Montessori says about these characteristics? Okay. Let's see what the child is. According to dictionary, a young human being below the age of puberty or below the age below the legal age of majority. As majority, we are adults over here. So the child would be who is below the age. And who is a who is below the age of puberty. Right? This is the dictionary meaning. Now according to Dr. Mario Montessori, the child is a body which grows and a mind which unfolds. The double physiological and physical form springs from one eternal found life. Right? It is a combination of physical and mental energies and the development which makes a child. The child is an enigma. What is enigma? Enigma means nature's secret. And the child remains a secret unless he becomes an adult. When a child is born, we don't know what the child would be when he will grow up. What are his strengths? What are the weaknesses? So it remains a nature, nature's secret. That's why Dr. Mario Montessori said it is an enigma. All that we know is that he has the highest potentialities, but we do not know what he will be. He must become incarnate with the help of his own. We only facilitate the child, but the real help the child takes on his own just by living in the environment. Significant characteristics a child possess. There are physical characteristics, social characteristics, emotional and cognitive characteristics. These are the four main characteristics of a child. Physical characteristics, children are extremely active, right? Children need frequent, very research that girls are more active practically than the boys, right? These are the few physical characteristics of a child. Social characteristics. Most children have one or two best friends, but these friendships change rapidly. Isn't it? If you have noticed children, they have group of small children, but after two, three days, they will make another new friend. And then they will get rid of, and then after two, three days, they will make another new friend. Playgroups tend to be small and unorganized. Children exhibit many different play behaviors. Play patterns may vary as a function of social class and gender. Quarrels are frequent but short in duration. Awareness of gender roles and gender typing is evident. The play pattern is different among the genders and the social class. The people of mediocre families, below average families, will play according to their social and financial status. And the children who are rich, who belong to rich families, they will have elaborate toys to play with. Right? And then boys will have separate kind of a play and girls will have separate kind of play. Girls like to play with dolls, they sit and play. But the boys, they want to run, they want to go out. You can't make them sit on one place. So there is a difference between boys and girls when they are playing. Social characteristics, types of behavior. Unoccupied behavior, children do not really play at all, stand around. We need to give him the proper material, we need to give him the proper presentation and the opportunity to repeat the freedom to repeat, so then he will become a perfect human being for the society. Any questions? Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Nadia. And the best commendable part is that we are pressuring each one of them for time, an amazing time. I mean, you know, if you were looking at the clock, so let's give it a special round of applause for that. And let's hope we all will follow in her.
footsteps. So, have you understood? Are you beginning to understand? Who is the child? You will see many sides and many aspects of the child. These seminars that is being conducted, it's a series of topics. We started in um, 2005 and we have reached our 15th topic. These topics focus on two aspects, namely, and that is the educational part, educational, of course, following the guidelines from Dr. Mario Matisini, and then the social aspect, because you cannot have education separate from the society, and you cannot separate society from education. Unless and until we understand the role of both, you will not be able to move forward. And the moment we stop moving forward, what happens? Life comes to an end. So I'm going to be moving on. Let us hope that you have all received your program. Let us also hope that each one of you have signed your attendance sheet. And those of you who are attending the seminar today, you do have an ID card with you. You should be wearing it. Just in case you're not, make sure it's easily available. Again, a request to keep away your mobiles. Uh, you may, if you wish to take a picture afterwards in between during the break, you will be doing so. The topics, the next topic is by a person who I don't seem to see. So I am wondering, um, as yet, for her lecture, if you could follow the program, we move to the third lecture. And that would be mine. So there's a lady who's helping me out, Hina and Fatma. And I would like to request Mrs. Meha Javed to just come and introduce my daughter.
child becomes independent. and understanding. I am a Montessori mother. These are pictures of my own son who was given the total freedom to do just about anything with freedom and protection and they may care for him but they do not understand the philosophy behind providing these activities. So what do they do? Do they allow the child to do this? No. And some of the bigger experiences of my life which I would like to share so that you can also learn to survive through that difficult time. All children, all children all over the world will do that. They will be the head of the family at this age because he's so responsible. But the struggle and conflict does not stop and it never will. And the latest example with which I would like to conclude my lecture today was yesterday. Preparing for today's seminar, I was out all day. When I got home, I saw something. The door handle was shaky. It was like dislocated. So I went inside and tried to find out what was the story behind it. And the story was, Remember my topic is constructive activity at home. There is a glass door in my house and it was very dirty. It's in the balcony. He has been telling the maid every day that she should clean it. And they don't have time to do extra chores. So yesterday he was at home. He didn't, there's no school on Saturday. He took the spray, water spray, and he took one of the dusting cloth and he, went, he was spraying and cleaning the glass window. In fact, there was a picture of him cleaning the glass, washing the glass too once. Now the maid in the house, she started to shout at him and I have to repeat these dialogues in Urdu because, you know, it will have took place in that language. And she said, Sare kapre tum bilkul phen dete ho, kharaab kar dete ho. And she went and complained to my mother-in-law. And the mother-in-law came to him and they, I mean, shouted is not the word. But और बेहतर काम नहीं कर सकते हो जाके पढ़ो कुछ करो टीवी देखो ये क्या करते हो ये शीशा तुम्हारे साफ करने का काम थोड़ी है एंड दे वर शाउटिंग एंड यू नो द सिंपल एक्ट ऑफ अ चाइल्ड लेड द टू अदर अडल्ट हु वर मोर मैच्योर देन हिम एंड द कॉन्फ्लिक्ट स्टार्टेड व्हाई बिकॉज ऑफ वेस्टिंग अ पीस ऑफ डस्टिंग क्रॉप दैट द चाइल्ड मे हैव स्पॉइल्ड Why can't adults look? So he got so frustrated, he was discouraged for his act and he was stopped from continuing cleaning the window. Um, he took the, he went outside and he slammed the door. 
and these days it's so breezy, I live on 10th floor, it was with a lot of pressure and the door handle broke. But the door handle is fixable. What parts, the soul, the spirit, the body and the mind that might have broken in the child, there is no word for it. And I'm not talking about my own child. It's an experience that I felt, but children in every household are suffering from these daily conflicts between the child and the adult. Why? Why can't we educate ourselves? Why can't we open our eyes? You know why? Because we do not understand the difference between the work of the child and the work of the adult. My message from Dr. Maria Montessori's all discovery is that we, the adults, have a different kind of work to do. Our work is to improve our society. We do our work for external purpose. Our work, our aim is to do maximum work in minimum time. And we just see the child from our point of view. For us, the child is a disturber. He has nothing to do in the kind of work we do. He should be put to sleep. He should be kept away from guests. He should be kept in a bed, you know, a playpen, where he can't move, where he can't touch. The child's work is to build and construct himself. And in order to do that, he needs to use the environment. He needs to use all his senses. He needs to feel, touch, hear, smell. Otherwise, it's like work or die. So can't we give the child the freedom to do that? Can't we, as human beings, as not only parents, as the rest of the family members in the home environment, can't we do so much? Think about it, and the rest of the day will help you undiscover the child and realize how important today's topic is to educate the parent so that before we damage the child, a damaged child is a damaged and destroyed and a sick adult. And today's society is reflecting a lot of that. So let us save the future and let us save a child today. We will save the world. Thank you so much. lecture is who is the child's first who are the child's first teacher parents are their child's first teacher now in Islam when we talk about Islam usme woman ki there are three things about the woman nishaniya jab baat kare tu sach bole جب امانت رکھی جائے تو اس کی حفاظت کرے threat is not coming in my mind وعدہ کرے تو پورا کرے بات کرے تو سچ بولے وعدہ کرے تو پورا کرے and when امانت رکھی جائے تو اس کی حفاظت کرے اس امانت کا حق ادا کرے now this word امانت is something which we do not understand and normally majority of us do not take care of the manas. And the most important manas which is given to you, who is it? What is it? The child. You are the blessed one to have a baby. You are the blessed one to become parent. You are the blessed one to become a mother. But that blessing which has been given to you which has been bestowed upon you, how do you take care of that? I talk about this, we discuss about this, but please, first of all, 
say alhamdulillah to have a baby. Because yesterday I was talking to my rickshaw wala and I said, Saach, are you married? He said, yes, I have, so I got married two and a half years back. How many children do you have? And he was like crying. I had two. One after the other they were born. But morning they were born, evening they were taken as well. Allah. Allah ki amanat ki Allah ko gayi. So can you understand the pity, the sorrow, the pain that father had, that mother must be having? This thing that is given to you is something which Allah has given to you for good keepsake. And the demand is take care of it. How do you take care of it? The food, the good clothes, is it all? Whatever the child asks, a child throws a tantrum, I want this, I want this, I want this, I want this, and the child, and the child says, I want this. You give it to the child, you are providing the child with all the luxuries, with everything, of every need in the life, and you think you have fulfilled your responsibility? Because yes, this is what is happening these days. Mothers are crazy, fathers are crazy. My child should go to the best school, best tutor. Standard of living should be high. My child should get the best and they are working and slaving themselves. But this is not what the child is asking for. This is not what is required. They will understand, they will guide, they will reflect. Whatever is the best in the child, they will reflect, they will say, utilize that and they will try to develop the child in the best way. Just yesterday, I was, we, mashallah, in LMI, we are very good artists. We do projects and everything and believe me, some projects are such that you are looking at them in wide eyes. Oh my God, students made this? What I saw in internet, a mother has made, has made a small beautiful mosque in her environment, in her house. A car made of cardboard and everything. And when it's prayer time, she and her child, they both go to that area to pray. From initial age, she's developing a respect and love for the place of worship. And it was a simple one, nothing such elaborate. But look at this mother's creativity. Look at this mother's geniusness. Instead of giving toys and everything, she's focusing on what is important. The positive aspects of the child's development. They are the physical aspect, they are the social aspect, they are the moral aspect, they are the emotional aspects, religious aspects. Just count them and they are out there. Now, from environment as relaxed as possible. And believe me, that is not easy. When you get married, 